Hey guys, welcome back to another random games gallery. This time we're playing Escaped Chasm. I'll leave a link to the game in the description. And if you enjoy this video, please leave a like and subscribe. It helps my channel, shows me you like what I'm doing. All right, let's get this started. Love RPG Maker games. I mean, I just absolutely love them. Play opening movie? Yes, because I've never played this. How about the rest of the movies? Yes. It's got movies, that's cool. Sometimes when I close my eyes, when I let my mind drift, I can feel a world beyond my own. It's fast and beautiful. I can see through the eyes of a girl I admire. However, as my consciousness slips back to me, I remember that, the, that this euphoric dream is not real. That is awesome. As I wake in my connection to that world slowly fades from memory. That is awesome. Like, I won't let this world escape me. Cutscene. I will hold on to these fragments of my dreams in any way I can. Great job with cutscenes. Maybe I can never truly reach that world. But maybe one day, I can still become the girl I see in that place. I think I'm done drawing for today. For the day. I wonder where mom and dad could be. Melody looks sickly. He refuses to eat. What should I do? I was ready to be washed. Picture frame that holds a photo of younger you. your diary what would you like to do read today's entry they aren't back today either when will mom and dad come home I'm really lonely Melody isn't doing so well he won't eat anything for some reason to pass the time I've been imagining stories that have become so vivid I nearly forgot reality in these stories I'm who I always wanted to be brave strong unafraid living freely and living in a forest of wonders the world of my dreams I even have friends but at the end of these imaginings I have to remember that world isn't real. At the end of the day, I have to remember I'm just me. The me who is pathetic. The me who is cowardly. The me who is alone. Kind of tired. I'd like to rest a bit. No, I don't want to do that. A lot of drawings of your imaginings in a world you wish to live in. Your skill is not where you want it to be yet, but you're still proud of what you've made. Let's check the trash. It's your garbage can. It's a lot of crumpled up papers full of sketches you don't like. A vase. <laughs> it's a family photo of you and your parents. A photo of another member of your family. You met them when you were very young, so you don't remember who they are. A vase. <laughs> a vase with some pretty flowers in it. It's your parents' room. I shouldn't go in. painting of flowers. It's a phone. Maybe should I calling my parents? No answer. A painting of mountains. I love the music. Great job on the music. The coat rack. It's got a very sad, melancholy feel to it. The cabinet holds various spices and ingredients. A face with some pretty flowers on it. It's a container full of sugar. Maybe a bit would be okay. I ate a bit of sugar. Cutting board. It's the oven. It's a little scary. There's paintings over the oven. Do you want to look? A painting of a dog at the beach. Kitchen sink is clogged up a bit. Refrigerator. It's fully stocked, but it's hard to decide what to eat. Kitchen garbage can. Potter plant. Rayo plays a lot of old music. Kitchen chair bench. <laughs> the kitchen chair bench. That's what I'm going to call it from now on. I'm going to go eat at the kitchen chair bench.
A reclining chair. Comfortable couch. Oh, that garbage can. It's the TV. It seems like a cartoon is about to start. Do you want to watch it? Yeah, let's watch a cartoon. You did an amazing job with these cutscenes. Your efforts are futile. You weaklings cannot defeat me. Surrender and accept your fate. At this rate, we're done for. Unless... I'm going to use my power. What? No, it's too dangerous. There's no other way. Whatever you're trying, you stand no chance against me. We'll see about that. While using the risky hidden power, do our heroes stand a chance? Tune in next time to find out. You're in awe. You love this show. I love the cutscenes in this. Painting of a sunset. Shower curtain. You accidentally rip it a lot. The bathroom sink. The shower. Bathroom flavored garbage can? The toilet. Toilet paper. Okay. Let's go down this way because I don't want to go outside you. Okay. I want to write in my diary. We will in a second. I thought that was a broom. It's a box. an open box. Box on the table. Unless it says something special, I'm not going to read it. <laughs> it's a mirror. It's you. You look cute today. Now I don't have anything else really to do. She doesn't want to go outside. Um, she wants to write in her diary, so let's go write in her diary. Lay down. It's your babe. Would you like to go to sleep? Yes. Maybe tomorrow will be better. Parents left. That's horrible. Love the animation again. Just love to say it's got very good animation. Whoa. Good or bad? How long did I sleep for? I should look around and see if they came back yet. I'm just trying to... I don't know what else to check. Is it moving anymore? her diary entry today. Should check and see if my parents are back. Okay. That's just what we'll do then. It's your parents' room. Maybe I should knock and see if they're back. No response. Guess I should look around. Maybe I should try calling my parents. No answer. This isn't our normal reclining chair. Did they come back and change the chair? Let's see what's on TV. Uh. It's 
that was weird. You don't feel like watching anymore. Oh, the toilet lids up too. The toilet. The lids up. The lid wasn't up yesterday, was it? Who are you? Just a visitor. Is there anything I can do for you? Not really, I'm just here to observe. Observe? What are you observing? I'm just here to see what happens. What do you mean? Where did he... None of that's none of this has changed. Uh, none of this has changed unless the garbage can is empty. Oh no, this garbage can for Leon. It says the same thing when you look in here. I go outside. Ah, uh, maybe tomorrow. Sleepy. Well, what I do then? Maybe she writes in it and then I go to sleep. I'm not sleepy yet. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Well, then I miss. I'm missing something here. Maybe there's something here. All I can think is it's nothing's changed on the paintings. Something changed here, maybe. Oh, okay. She's got to eat a bit of sugar. Maybe that's what it is. You don't feel so good. Oh. Maybe that's what I needed to do that was eat the sugar. Unless there's something down in the basement which I need to check. 
Yeah, she's not sleepy yet, so... It's either in the ki I think I got everything out of the kitchen. It's gotta be the basement. Oh! The radio. Doesn't appear to be working. Maybe that was one thing I needed to do. Am I just missing something? What do I do? I'm a little confused. I thought I've pretty much clicked on everything, haven't I? Did I forget something in a room, maybe? Oh, a lot of drawings are your imaginings in a world you wished you lived in. Your skill is not where you want it to be. Well, there's that picture, though. Oh, I wasn't sure if it was real or not. I was a little alarmed at first, but maybe I just imagined him. Melody stopped moving. I think he's sleeping. When will Mom and Dad come home? I don't know what to do. How do I help him? I'm kind of sleepy. Okay, that's what you gotta do every day. Okay. Let's go sleep. Maybe they'll be back when I wake up. I love these animations. Please help her. Please help me. I should try going outside to look. That's what we'll do then. Chairs back. Back. What's going on? You're too afraid to turn on the TV. Oh, let's go outside because it said let's go. I can do this. What's happening? Such a wonderful sight. I recommend you turn back. He's right, I should go back. What, what was that? What's going on? I knew I shouldn't have gone outside. What should I do? What should I do? I'm so scared. Where are mom and dad? Where could they be? I just try to check everything that seems different. Maybe eat some sugar. Maybe I shouldn't eat the sugar. Did 
you don't feel so good. Maybe the radio does something again. I go for the things that you can interact with. You're scared of the radio. Let's go right in the diary. I went outside to try and look for mom and dad, and when I saw my heart was racing. Something's wrong. Everything looked distorted and destroyed. I didn't know what to do. Was what I saw even real? That strange man was there too. He was looking at the chaos and he seemed like he liked it. He told me I should turn back and then vanished. Who is he? If I see him again, maybe I should ask him where my mom and dad are. Would he know? Where are my mom and dad? Did they get hurt? Do they need my help? I don't know what to do. My mind is racing. I'm so scared. I'm so worried. What should I do? I'm tired again for some reason. Why am I so tired? reason I can't keep my eyes open. Will everything be fixed when I wake up? I should Whoa What's happening? I need to find mom and dad quick You and Can't remember who this is Just check Only as a last resort I'll come back up there nowhere else Phone is gone. Was this a picture of again? Where did this doll come from? This isn't my doll, but it looks familiar for some reason. Take the doll with you. Yes. Some bills and papers are slightly torn. I shouldn't eat this. Switch out again. I really like the graphics of this. It's all distorted. Wasn't this a dryer before? The box is closed now. You're gonna have to, it's the only way to where to go. Wait, what's that in the corner? Is there a face here? We'll go in. An open journal. The previous pages are all torn out, but the last page. This is Mom's handwriting. If you find this journal, my little star, I'm sorry we couldn't tell you one last goodbye. I know you haven't found your confidence yet, but I know deep inside a strong and brave girl sleeps. I wish we could have 
been able to see you all grown up. If you find a way out, please move on without us. I think it's too late for us. I wish with all my heart we could meet again in another time, another place. Please know we love you very much. Whatever happens to us, we'll never forget you. I'm proud to have been your mother. I'm proud of you, my daughter. This is... It can't be. No, they must still be somewhere. I can still find them. They need my help. I have to... Well, you can't go any further than that. Okay. Well... You... well hidden pages. Can I read the hidden pages? Can you look at the hidden pages? No, I don't think so. I have to find them. Ah. It's you. It's me. You... Do you know where my parents are? I think you already know the answer. They're gone. To a place they can't willingly return from. No. As things are, you'll never see them again. No, I... No, it's it's not true. They're not gone. They can't be. No. Well, they may be gone from this world, but it isn't too late to save them. Huh? How can that be? I thought you said they were from this world. Yes, there is nothing that can be done. But if you're willing to take a chance, you may be able to find a way to save them. There's a world beyond this one that you seem to already be somewhat familiar with. A world that you've depicted in these crude drawings of yours. It seems like because of her, you've established a link to that world. It wouldn't be very hard to create a path for you there. There is a world like that? So it really exists? However, in stepping through this path, you can never return to this life. Can you take this step knowing you may never be able to return? If there's a way to save them, then I have no choice. There is a chance. That in doing this, you will slowly lose every attachment you have to this world. I figure most of that doesn't bother you, but what might upset you is that it includes the memories of your parents. With this risk in mind, will you take this step? Do you think even without the memories of this world, you'll be able to save them? I could lose the memories of mom and dad? No. These memories, they're my everything. Stay behind and you can hold on to your memories forever. In an endless, abysmal chasm. How can I save them if I won't remember them? What sort of options are these? Do you... Do you know why all this is happening? Do you know what caused all this? I believe I do. There's an influence from a large, unstable power in a world not too far from here. It's likely that's what's causing this world to collapse on itself. Or perhaps, this world was never stable to begin with. Maybe this world has been unwinding itself from the start. If all this is happening, why are you here? Why would you come to a decaying world? Curiosity. I stumbled upon this small world in my search for someone. The one I suspect caused all this. Or I guess the one who may be making the decay of this world accelerate. I was intrigued by this place's miserable fate and came to see the world to its end. I was surprised to find that there was anyone left. There isn't much time for you left either if you stay here. You too will soon be drawn into the depths of an endless chasm. You find yourself unable to stay awake for very long, isn't that right? I don't really care either way if you choose to go or not. 
There's someone I'd like to return to soon, so this will be our last meeting and your last chance to escape from here. Will you leave this world? Ah. Go. I'll go. Ah. I need to take that chance. If there's a way I can save them. Maybe. Yes. Deep in my heart, I'll make sure I hold on to their memories. There's no way I'll let myself forget. You made a wise decision. Step through the door and don't look back. Perhaps we'll meet again someday. Maybe you'll even get to meet her. Until then, farewell. I think I'm doing the right thing. I have a feeling my dreams and happiness will come true the moment I walk through this door. I'm going to leave now. Goodbye, Melody. Goodbye, Mom. Goodbye, Dad. I'll never forget you. That was an awesome game. That was a really cool game. I really enjoyed that. I love the art. You did an amazing job on the cutscenes and the animation. Oh my gosh, they were so good. Um, you yeah, definitely play this if if you like RPG Maker games and you want an awesome story. Go for it and play this. Uh, but that will be it for me, guys. And until next time. Oh wait, it's not done yet. I think mom and dad wanted this for me. For me to live on towards a brighter world. Still, I can't believe my eyes, this outside world before me. It's so beautiful. Alright, that will be it for me, guys. And until next time. Oh, wait. Okay, no, it isn't that it from. Ah, this keeps getting me. Uh, wow, good job. You found the secret room. You must have some questions, right? I'm not doing anything particularly important right now, so feel free to ask me anything you'd like. Who are you? I'm Timmy, the creator of this game. I draw, illustrate, pixel, animate right now, I guess. I made sound effects using a cute program. Behold, please hire me. I need work. Anyway, please ask away. Do you have any more questions? This is directed at you. <laughs> How did I know you were? Insert player name here. Well, I'm pretty awesome if you do say so myself. Why am I a cat? Haven't you always been? What happened to that lo to the lonely girl? It's probably confusing, right? She stepped into a new world. However, because she was influenced from abnormalities from her decaying world, she was shifted into a demon. This is partially a premise for the game I want to make next, but that game is much more ambitious and I don't know how long it will take me. I hope you get to see it someday soon. Anyway, I think she prefers being this way anyway. It really is a new start for her. Also, it's very similar to what she always wished to be anyway. It works out kind of. Who is that handsome demon man? Think of him as an anti-hero. Sort of. But he's not really a good person. I guess in this story he's okay. Yes, what about it? Did he need to be a handsome demon man? Yes. Who are the characters he's referring to? Someone he wants to return to is Yoki. She'll be the main character of the game I want to make soon. The character causing everything. You'll find out in one day and I've ever finished the game. Hope I do. It's kind of cool. I like it. It's, this is a cool way to show off, like, you know, talk about the development process. And Is this all that all there really is to this game? That's it. I'm sorry there's so little. It's just meant to be a test game I made to learn how RPG Maker so I can make a game. Hey, this game is awesome. Worried about writing story with this type of tone and things. I really hope it doesn't upset you too much. You must be eliminated. Be gone. Yeah. 
Not sure what's going on. My husband and I have been both been feeling strangely lethargic this past week. It's like no matter how much I sleep, I don't feel any more rested. It's strange how we both feel this way. Maybe there's something wrong with the mattress. My daughter seems to be more distant than usual lately as well. She seems to be showing herself in a room more often. I'm worried about her. She always had low self-esteem and she always seemed so ashamed of herself. I wish we could get, get it through her head that she can be who she wants to be. The only thing that's holding her back is herself. I know deep down my baby girl is a shining star. Maybe sometime soon we can plan a trip somewhere far from here, a nice getaway where we can do some family bonding. Maybe we all been a little distant lately. We can drive off to somewhere we've never been before, soak in new sights and refresh ourselves. We can try to figure out some steps we can take to help her feel better about herself, to help her grow into what she wants to be. See what we can do to help her get out of her rut. I think the fatigue is really getting to me. Maybe a small nap would help me feel better. Yeah. Something's wrong. My husband won't wake up. No matter what I do, he won't budge. Not only that, but when I look at him, I don't know how to describe it, but he looks like he's losing his form. As time is passing, I feel like I can, I can recognize him less and less. I'm panicking. What's going on? I'm terrified. And I think the same thing is happening to me as well. I can't seem to leave this room. Can't seem to find the door. This isn't normal. What's wrong with me? I think I heard a knock at the door. Is that you, my little star? I don't know what's going on, but it's getting harder and harder to keep my eyes open. It feels like I'm fading out of existence. The knocking stopped. I'll just take a small rest. Maybe I'm just hallucinating. This is all just seems like a fever dream. It probably is one. I need to remember when I wake up to check on my girl. I don't know if I ever woke up or if I'm still asleep. Can't tell if time is passing or standing still. The room is so distorted. I don't think there is a hallucination. Can't find my husband. Where is he? Is he still in this room? He's not. He's not gone, is he? Is this what we're facing? Our end? My love, where are you? It hurts so much, but for some reason I can't seem to cry. I need to see my daughter. It feels like it's been ages since I've seen her. I don't know how much time has passed. Is she worried about us? Is she safe? This isn't happening to her, is it? I don't know what to do. I'm so worried. She must be so scared, so alone. My mind is racing, and yet I can't seem to retain a thought in my head for too long. I lose it before I can even process it. Before I can go long, before I can no longer write, I need to write out something for my little girl. I hope, I wish, with all my heart, this letter will make it to you. It seems like there's someone in this room with us. It's not my husband. Who is this? Maybe he can help me. Maybe. Maybe make sure this journal gets to her. Alright, I think that might be it. Oh. What's there to watch? It seems, as time has passed, she slowly lost hold of her memories from her li last life. Oh, this is kind of like the ending. However, she is still drawn to the girl she met in her dream. That may be for the wrong reasons. Maybe one day she might realize and remember the real reason she's drawn to her. Awesome. Alright guys, that's going to be it for me. You want to turn to start screen? Yep. Uh, so, until next time, keep up the positivity.